So hey folks, today we are going to be comparing the Pendragon, the Tecton Pendragon to the double impacts that arrived. Now, when I had the Pendragon, I was very, very excited. It just sounded really, really good. It was a big speaker. Um, I was very excited. And, and when I hooked them up, I was even more excited because it had this meaty, um, mad bass. Like it was, it was like a strong hit to the stomach. And then the double impacts arrived and I was kind of trying to imagine, you know, a bigger, badder version of the Pendragon. And that was really hard to imagine, guys. Like, I was thinking, you know, how can, how can it get any better from here? Now, surprise, surprise, the double impacts are not exactly like a Pendragon on steroids. It is a, almost like a totally different speaker. So it's rather not so much, you know, one's better than the other. It's much like, you know, what do you prefer? So here, let me give you a breakdown. Um, so the Pendragon, like I said, is more meatier than the double impacts. It's, it's more warmer sounding and fuller sounding speaker. And the double impact, on the other hand, has a more of a hit, like a dry hit. It has a... The bass is phenomenal, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying the Pendragons are, has more bass. It just has a meteor bass. It has more warmth to it. The, the Double Impacts, on the other hand, has a slam and an and, and impact, like double the impact, seriously, of the Pendragons. So the bass region is strong and controlled and it really hits you in the guts um, in a more bold way. So... How should I explain this? So if the Pendragons are like, like more like uh, a lot of pebbles of rocks that makes you feel comfortable when you're like, you know, uh, putting yourself under rocks, you know, you want smaller rocks, you're putting yourself here on the beach, you know, like sand, for example, right? Um, it's kind of making you more feel comfortable and warm. Whereas the pen, the pen, uh, sorry, the double impacts is like a freaking boulder just boom, right? So it's a very strong, impactful speaker compared to the Pendragon. So it's not like one's better than the other, it's more like, you know, what do you prefer? What kind of bass kind of do you prefer? Um, and then you go to the mid bass, and the mid bass, I feel like I really like it on the double impacts. The mid bass, perhaps because of the, you know, dedicated mid drivers um, on, on the double impacts, the, the, the bass um, woofers just hit, like no tomorrow. It has such an impactful bass and when you when I play drum tracks, this is so apparent. Like it just hits you. I remember playing this one Japanese drum track um, that I, I've never heard of before. And I, I sat down and I played it and it was like boom 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 and boom and I was like it felt like someone hit me in the head. And so I was like, whoa, this track is amazing. You know, these speakers are amazing. But I had to make sure it was a speaker. So I switched to some other speaker that was a floor stander, um, you know, was known for its bass. I'm not gonna mention the name. And it just didn't do it. It didn't have that effect of hitting me in, right in the forehead. And so I was convinced that this was the speakers. And in this test, I was just freaking blown away. I started playing multiple drum tracks. And, and I usually don't play that much drum tracks, but this was phenomenal. It was slamming and, you know, shaking and, and, and the instruments were just coming at me um, full tilt and I was, I, was, I was blown away. I was cranking it up and the funny thing is this, guys. So I've been playing drum tracks for the entire day, right? And I step outside my door, right? I'm just like, oh, listening session, <laughs> like middle of the day. And my neighbor's like, you play drums? He was actually thinking that I was playing drums, which was which was really interesting. So I asked him, you know, if I told you that was coming from a speaker, would you believe me? And he said, no, you know, he, he told me that he could feel the kind of the, you know, the, the impact of someone actually playing a drum. And he was telling me that he's a drummer himself. So he was very familiar with the sound. And we had a long talk about, um, you know, speakers and stuff like this. And he was mind blown away. And, and so that was the end of that conversation. But the, the bass on the um, double impact is seriously impactful. And I really want to get that across. 
Now moving on to the mid range. The mid range on the Pendragon is a little bit more, uh, like I said, meatier, a little bit more um, less forward than the double impacts. Now the double impacts seem like a more refined, higher end speaker that I'm used to um, listening at the store. Um, it sounds more like a more attention grabbing, more uh, exciting kind of uh, mid bass, not mid bass, mid energy. Um, and as you extend to the high frequency, you get a little bit more shimmer than the Pendragon. It sounds a little bit more open than the Pendragon. And whether that is to your liking or not, um, it sounds a lot more open and a lot more high end in the sense that, um, you know, you, you if you go from like a reference, if you think about, about a reference speaker, right, and it has this spark on the top end and it has this air and the instrument placement is like all across you, you know, that's what you get with the double impacts. Now, the double impacts is interesting because the middle tweeter is the only one that is doing the um, high frequency and the rest of the um, tweeter array is doing the mid range. So what you end up getting is a much real um, kind of kind of easy presentation with the vocal region. So when you listen to a vocal track, uh, the high frequency and the mid frequency is done in a way where it's like coming from a one big point source. So it just seems much like when you listen to a speaker, uh, a huge panel speaker like the CLX, Martin Logan CLX. Now this is kind of going off topic, but when I listened to the Martin Logan CLX, this, it had this like huge unrealistic, you know, sound like imaging, right? Like a huge head. And so in a way it's much like that in the sense that it has this huge sound stage you know, it's like almost listening to an entire stadium um, of instruments coming at you. And you can pinpoint the, the instruments, the imaging within that sound stage is incredible. So, so it's a whole another beast compared to the Pendragon. Now, I do personally uh, prefer the Pendragon if you ask me because I'm a person who prefers a little bit more warm, relaxing sound. So if you listen to a lot of like jazz and you're kind of like a tube guy and you kind of like to relax a little bit, then, then the Pendragon may suit your needs. But if you're like, you know, fuck you, Jay, and your tube world, then the Pendragon may not be for you. It may be the double impact that impresses you. But either way, both speakers fit the niche of you know your needs in a speaker, and I think that's very important. Now the double impact, um, I really really like the fact that um, it extends and it's a different sound from the Pendragon. Now looking back, um, Pendragon is as good as it gets when it comes to that kind of sound. When you, you know, especially for the money, uh, when you look at the double impact, that's you know how much you get from a speaker like that. Is phenomenal and it holds its you know footing um, in this price category you know with its top contenders like no problem and I would go for us to say that it sounds a lot like the hi-fi speakers that I'm used to at my store which costs you know ten times the price of the double impacts so that's a lot to you know complement the speaker um, so it Either way, you go with Pendragon or the Double Impact, it's really hard to go wrong with these speakers. It's phenomenal for the value. And so that's all really I have to say for you know this review or comparison. Um, I will have a separate comparison of the Double Impact when it comes to it. Um, I, I'm, I'm thinking of doing a separate review or discussion. I am not too sure yet, but when it comes to it, I'll let you guys know. Um, in the meantime, I definitely urge you to check out either the Double Impact or the or the Pendragon because both are phenomenal speakers. And not to mention they're phenomenally easy to drive. You can hook up any amplifier to it. In fact, when I hooked up you know, Class D amplifiers to the uh, Double Impacts, it sounded phenomenal, um, especially the Pear Sound Classic 200. So if you have to put a lot of money into speakers, um, and want to spend less on the electronics, the Tecton speakers are a phenomenal choice for you because they're very efficient and they sound very, very good. So there you have it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.